Today we're going to be installing a custom engine cover on this HTC Corvette. Hi, I'm Donna Marie with the Corvette Channel, where you can find a series of how-to videos for your Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be installing this beautiful custom engine cover from Classic Rules Custom Parts. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that information right here on the screen, as well as some information here about how you can get one for yourself and get a discount doing it. But we are, as you can see here, we've got our, we've got our clear cover that we're ready to put on the car, but we're gonna go ahead and put the engine cover on first. And so we've already taken the screws out so we can do this. Um, you can see that General Motors does not give you an engine cover at all when you get a convertible. So um, if you guys are thinking about you know, putting a new cover on it and being able to show your engine compartment, they don't give you anything. <laughs> they don't, everything. They don't even supply the screws that you would use to go down on this. So if you decide that you're going to want to get a custom, uh, custom cover, uh, be sure and check them out. Uh, Richard over there does a beautiful job. He uses the uh, genuine GM part um, base, the base itself, and then he custom paints these and then adds the carbon fiber. And, and these flags here are actually, they're not just an emblem. He actually paints these. So uh, these are definitely, um, definitely very, very good units. And you'll be able to, you'll be able to tell it when you see it. Um, we sell them here in the shop. I sell them online. So um, you can also just order them directly from Richard over there at Classic Rules. Okay, so um, and they're also he's changing his or adding part of his name to it that it's uh, CRCP uh, to kind of abbreviate that to make it easier for you guys to find it. But I'm going to put all that information right there on the screen for you. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this cover on. Now this. The cover isn't that hard to do, and those of you that maybe have done this and you're doing it for a friend of yours or you've seen it done before on a coupe, um, it's got a little more to it that you need to do to make it a little bit easier and not mess up your top or the, the engine cover. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the coolant tank, we're going to be taking these two bolts here on the, each end of the coolant tank, and we're going to lift the tank up and kind of out of the way. And that's gonna free this area right here so you can get this down in there because we've gotta tuck it down and then it's gotta go down in there like so. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. And so uh, sit back and relax and we're gonna show you how it's done. We've got two bolts that we've gotta take free here and then we also need to cut our little clip here and we'll put a new wire tie just in here when we're done. But we're gonna take these and take this loose. This, this is a 10 millimeter bolt. Set this off to the side. And then we've got one more 10 millimeters. See if I can get my light out of your way there. There's one 10 millimeter right here. Okay, so we're gonna take that for you. that one off to the side there and then I'm gonna go get my my clippers and we're gonna clip that little guy right there I've tried to actually get this little Christmas tree to pop out of there but this hose is so flexible that even with my compression tool it, it's just a pain so I found that it's just easier to uh, use a new wire tie right there so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this little guy I'm gonna clip that get it out of the way then we can get this and we'll Put that little guy out of there. Now it'll stretch and we can actually get it out. Just like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, let me get this, set this down, we're not gonna need that anymore. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can take this 
Get them lifted up and out of the way. Okay, just like so. Okay. There you go. So now that clears this all up so we can go ahead and we can put our cover in place. Now that we've got this moved up out of the way, that leaves us, normally if this was a coupe, you would have four bolts. You'd have one here, 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 and right here. But since it's a, a convertible, you just have these two right here. And then you're gonna need to get a couple, a couple bolts. So you can always, you know, pull one of these out. You can, if they're a, they're a metric screw, uh, these are 10 millimeter heads on these and uh, you can see what that kind of looks like, okay? I happen to have, I have some that match, so we'll be able to make it look exact. But, you know, if you can't find an exact one and you're really worried about making sure that it matches up exactly, then take one of these down to the store and see if you can, or down to the dealer and see if you can get four of the exact same with the same thread and the right head on it. But there you go, so it's just like that. You're gonna pull those out. So then at that point, you're going to be able to move this bracket. It's going to kind of just move out of the way like that, okay? And that just moves down. And then we should just be able to put the engine cover right over it, okay? So first of all, before I go any further, guys, take a look at this thing. Isn't this awesome? I mean... Jeff, he's got a white car. He wanted a white white cover. They put the black carbon fiber on here and then the black scallops here with the yellow, yellow writing. And then also it's a 23 car, so he's got the 70th anniversary badge on it. And um, it's it just looks really nice, it really does. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set this down in here now, okay? And you're gonna put it in from the back and you can see how this goes. If I wouldn't have cleared this out, there's no way that that was gonna fit there. It, it just wasn't gonna happen. So with that being said, we can go ahead and we can get this down in here. And we have to, we've kind of got to massage it a little bit. So, you know, don't, um, don't use brute force. You can see I'm gonna to have to go over to the other side now, but I've got this side down. So we'll, uh, I'm just gonna move over to the other side. We've got one cable here that we've got to be able to maneuver around the top. And you just, again, you're gonna do it very carefully so you don't break anything. You're just gonna move that down like so. Okay, and then same thing over here. You can kind of see that it's just kind of fallen in place. And you just wanna make sure that everything lines up. And your screw holes are all lined up. And then at that point, you want to make sure that you put your, your bracket up on the top here, and then you use your bolt to go ahead and tighten it down. Over here. And again, just use, just put them in, start them, make sure all four of them are where they belong, and then tighten everything down. Don't, don't force one side and then uh, and then hope that the other side will, you know, go down. You may you may crack something or break something. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the screw over here. Just like that. And then we've got our other bracket. And that's right here. Gonna move it up and over. Just like that. that secured down. And guys, you wanna be really, really careful here that you don't drop one of these bolts down inside the engine. It's probably not gonna hurt anything, but you're gonna be going to fishing for another bolt. It's gonna suck, okay? So then at that point, all you're doing here, guys, is just gonna tighten these down. I had everything hand started. I don't like using power tools for this type of stuff because you only get one chance at these threads. Okay, 
we're gonna go ahead and put our bolt back on with holding our bracket. Um, you don't have to take this bracket off. Uh, you can just take that one loose and, and wiggle it out. I just find that it's just a little bit easier for it just to come off. So um, that's why I do what I do. Get that going right there. I'll tighten this one back up. Okay, and then we'll move over to the other side. All right, so once we've got our tab inside the hole on this bracket, we're gonna take this and we're gonna come over here. Now, on the bottom of this one, there is a flat metal like ledge of, on the bracket. And you've gotta find that little slot. And it's basically, it's going like this through, uh, through the bracket that's on this side. So once you get that in there, you can slide it over and then it will put it right in its place. And then at that point, you can go ahead and you can put your, your uh, bolt back in. Okay, just like that. And the next thing we're gonna do is put a wire tie right here to secure the hose back up, and then we'll be done. All right, so now we're gonna put that wire tie in here. Go right here like so. And you only want to secure it. You don't want to tighten it down where it pinches this hose because this is your coolant going through there. So you're just going to do that, clip that off, and then you can turn that downward and nobody will ever see it. It looks just, just nice and clean. All right. So now the next thing that we're going to do uh, is we're just going to, while we've got our cover off, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to wipe down the interior of the of the compartment to get all the dust off so it'll be nice and pretty and shiny when we put our cover on all right guys take a look at that cover doesn't that look beautiful let me get you a view of the other side too there we go take a look at that all right so that's what it looks like before we put the cover on the top all right, guys, you saw how simple that was. It really wasn't that hard to do. So if you guys are in the need or want for an engine cover, be sure and reach out to Classic Rules Custom Parts, and they'll be able to help you. Be sure and ask for Richard and let them know that I sent you, okay? And if you use the code TCC, they'll be able to give you a 5% discount, okay? So guys, thank you again for watching today, and I hope you have a great one and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.